If you've ever had your ice cream melt into a sticky mess on a hot summer day, you're about to understand why that happens. It's all thanks to a fascinating principle in physics. When your ice cream turns into soup, it's not just bad luck, there's science behind it. So, Newton's law of cooling might sound like something out of a complicated physics textbook, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Essentially, it states that the rate at which an object cools is proportional to the difference in temperature between the object and its surroundings. In simpler terms, the hotter something is compared to its environment, the faster it will lose heat. Think about your morning cup of coffee. When you first pour it, it's steaming hot and almost too hot to drink. But if you leave it on the table for just a few minutes, you'll notice it starts to cool down rapidly. Before you know it, your once piping hot coffee is now lukewarm and not as enjoyable. Here's the deal. The coffee cools down quickly at first because the temperature difference between the coffee and the room is quite large. As the coffee's temperature gets closer to the room temperature, the rate of cooling slows down. This is because the temperature difference is no longer as significant. So, as your coffee approaches room temperature, it loses heat more slowly. It's like this. The bigger the temperature difference, the faster the rate of change. Imagine you're running a race. At the start, you're full of energy and speed, sprinting ahead with all your might. But as you get closer to the finish line, you naturally start to slow down because you're getting tired. That's exactly what happens with the coffee. It cools down quickly at first and then more slowly as it gets closer to room temperature. So, next time you're sipping on a hot drink, whether it's coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, remember Newton's law of cooling. It's the reason you've got to drink up before it becomes an iced latte or a lukewarm disappointment. Pretty cool, right? Or should I say pretty cooling? So the next time you find yourself waiting for your hot drink to cool down to the perfect temperature, you'll know exactly what's happening. And that's Newton's law of cooling in action, making your everyday experiences a little more scientific and a lot more interesting.